Hello and welcome along to another one of my eSafety bits. My name is Wayne Denner, eSafety expert over at WayneDenner.com. Today we're going to take a look at a new smartphone app available for iPhone that allows you to FaceTime random people. Yes, how weird would that be? The Monkey app is a new app for iPhone which allows you to do just that. So let's take a look at some of the eSafety concerns with this new smartphone app. First thing, it's easy to fake your age on the Monkey app. A similar app, Chat Roulette, was well known for serving up sexual content. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Monkey app and show how easy it is to change, update or fake your age within the Monkey app. For the purpose of this demonstration, I already have the Monkey app installed on my iPhone 6 device. So I go ahead and tap the icon to launch the app. In order to gain access to the settings, you need to tap on the settings option at the top left of the app. That will take you into a number of options where you can edit your profile. Once you choose or tap on edit your profile, you can then change, update or fake the age of your account on the Monkey app. So for the purpose of this demonstration, if I set my age profile as 25 and tap next, it will then ask me for my Snapchat name. Now, there doesn't seem to be any verification in place to verify that this is actually your Snapchat username. So I'm gonna type in the word test just to show that I can bypass and move on to the next part of the app. Once I tap next, it'll ask me to confirm my gender. I tap on mail and then it will take me into the discovery section of the app. Here it will loading the FaceTap requests. Now these seem to be very much from a random nature. For example, when I was testing the app just yesterday, I accepted a chat request from a guy who was sitting drinking beer in a pub. Once the chat was accepted, it was defended and I could only do it by closing out of the app by tapping on the home button or letting the countdown timer end. In testing the app, it appears to have no user reporting privacy or safety tools in place where you can block or report anything inappropriate on the Monkey app. So there you have it, a quick overview of the Monkey app, which is now available for iPhone users. Don't forget, if you want any more useful or practical e-safety information, please do stop by WayneDenner.com. If you'd like me to speak at your youth school or e-safety event, please do get in touch and make sure to check us out on Facebook.